Sorry. Andrew, uh, excellent day. Uh, yeah. 15 points. We can get some comments, please. Yeah, kind of was a slow start. Um, <clears throat> took a lot of good shots. Just didn't get a lot out of my, my front nine. And then obviously went on a tear there on the, the final nine. And so far, so good. Yeah, take us through uh, six, seven, and eight if you can. Oh, six, seven, and eight. The, the eagle birdie birdie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a perfect number to that that back pin on the par five and told my caddy let's get aggressive and hit a good shot in there at about 20 feet and rolled it in and uh, hit it to five feet on the next hole, rolled it in and another eight footer, you know, nothing nothing crazy, just the ball was starting to go in the hole. So um, starting to get some out of my game. Do you have some memories here at this tournament winning it back in 2018? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a special place and see a lot of familiar faces that uh, I saw when I won, tournament director and a lot of the people that helped out. So it uh, brings me good memories and got my wife and kids and parents here again, just like last time we're all staying together. And uh, it's been a great week so far. Got to go scuba diving on Tuesday and, you know, it's, it feels like a vacation here. Whenever I come to Reno, it's just a great time of year to be here. Can you talk mm -hmm. a little bit about that experience and, and just what that meant to you to help, help them out? Yeah, it was, it was uh, enjoyable. Um, that organization obviously doing great things. I think they said they pulled out four or 5,000 pounds of trash already in like 20 days. And uh, <clears throat> usually I go on a dive to see something cool, see a shark or <laughs> whatever. So it was a little harder work than normal. I was, I was out of breath when I was done because you're searching around rocks and pulling all sorts of stuff up. But it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun to do something that, felt like you're giving back and making the world a better place. What was the most rewarding part of the LPO recovery? Probably just, I feel like just getting the perspective of what's going on under the water and hopefully that allows, you know, bringing some awareness to that and uh, just for myself, just being aware of, you know, maybe not putting trash, you know, not somewhere it shouldn't be and, and realizing what it's doing to the, the lake, the fish and, and uh, all that stuff. Have you ever scuba dived in Lake Tahoe before? Never have, no. I don't think. I mean, I don't know if it's something that you typically would do. There wasn't a whole lot in the water other than uh, some crawfish and some minnows, so I'm not sure you would do that very often. Just last question for you: What was the most unique or weird thing that you found when you were helping out? The <clears throat> well, we found a big tire down there, which I guess they find quite a few, but it was unique to me. Found an anchor. Found some. Unfortunately, some COVID mass, so uh, not, nothing too wild. We did find a golf ball, so it was kind of fun. We had some fun with it under the water. Thank you. Andrew, uh, yeah. 104 in the FedEx Cup. Talk a little bit about how big this week is for you mm -hmm. as you try to solidify your position for a deep run on playoffs. Yeah, obviously, you know, FedEx Cup <clears throat> playoffs coming up. I want to be in good form, and I feel like I've been playing well. I just haven't got a lot out of my game, so it's good to finally get some putts to drop and get some momentum, so... Big week here can really help my chances to to get deep into the FedEx playoffs. Okay, perfect. All good. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, Ed.